Little Shop of Horrors follows Seymour Krelborn, who is a perennial loser in Skid Row, and Skid Row is based off Skid Row in Los Angeles, so it's like a dilapidated city. And he is visited by an alien plant who he takes on as a pet in this flower shop that he works on in Skid Row. And the plan actually has the intention to take over the world, but in order to do that, the plant has to be fed blood. So all these good things start happening to Seymour that eventually he makes a connection that the plant are making happen. And for those good things to continue happening, he has to find people to feed to the plant. Getting Audrey 2 was kind of a shock, especially because I'd never sung anything like that before. This, this show is the first time I'm kind of pushing myself into that range. So it was really intimidating. I was like, how am I gonna hit these notes? How am I gonna do like f fill the shoes of this huge role? So it was very intimidating. It was physically challenging because I didn't know how to hit those notes and I had to train myself to healthily lower my range and expand it. And through practicing a ton, now I can actually comfortably hit those notes, which is pretty cool. It's also such an interesting character because it's usually played by a guy, so I had to be able to still come off across as like scary and intimidating and like, you know, weird and man-eating while not having the same like vocal texture that usually is there for these types of characters. Finally actually performing was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I will never forget it. It was just so exhilarating and I think in general, I really liked getting to know everyone in the cast and being like part of this amazing project. Everyone was so talented and I've learned so much from talking to these people who have experienced so much more than I have. And you know, you make really good friends from when you're doing a show like this, you're spending that many hours together, you're all tired and experiencing the same thing. Like you get really close. Even though it's like, it's kind of a very straightforward thing if you think about it, he just wants to be fed. I think there's a lot of manipulation behind Audrey 2's character because I think one line that I had repeatedly was feed me and I had to figure out ways to make it not bland and say it the same way every time because I'm trying to get something out of Seymour. I'm trying to get someone to do something. How am I changing the way I say it to, get, like, to persuade them to do it in real life? And so if I'm starting out feed me and I'm like come on man, like feed me, come on, I'm hungry, to like, dude, literally feed me, like I'm starving, help me out here, to like, feed me right now or I'm literally gonna kill you. So like, the levels of extreme definitely fluctuate and I think that plays out through the role. So for the production, I'm running the recording. We don't have the rights to live stream it, which is why we're not live streaming it, like with the previous shows. I kind of just wanted to be a part of the show. I had done live streaming for the past show, She Kills Monsters, and I had signed up for it again, because I just, I wanted to help out again. And then I got recording this time. And it's great because I have recording experience. I was at GMS TV in my middle school years. Such a fun program. And that kind of introduced me to recording and then I've just been developing that skill since then. And, and I just, I love it so much. It's a lot of fun. And every time you see a live show, every time you see a play, there are people sitting in the back, sequestered away from the audience. We're kind of hidden, we're like the ninjas of theater. So whenever there's a cool lighting effect or the music just really comes in at one moment, usually it's people in the booth orchestrating something. You'll have maybe four or five people, but it's pretty small so we try to keep it light. There's also not really much air conditioning, so it gets warm pretty quick. They don't know what to expect. You know, they've been seeing the plays and the plays have been good, but the musical is just on another level, man. What I'm really gonna remember is just making a lot of new friends. There's just, I'm, I'm, there's connections I'm making with people here that are really nice. All of the leads, like we, we definitely like be all became really close throughout this process. And so at first we would like hang out to like, you know, practice lines or practice our songs together. But then after a while, it just came to the point where it's like, hey guys, do you want to just hang out and just mess around and have fun? I had such a good experience. I enjoyed the process so much, like all the way through. Like I enjoyed hanging out with the cast and at the end, just those vows and just like you knowing that you did a great job and that everyone's there supporting you and you know, you just put on this like amazing show. I would say the biggest piece of motivation for a lot of the leads, including me, was that this is the first musical in four years. And my goal slash my hope is that we would perform and do such a good job that it would convince the school to allow for, one, a better budget for the musicals and like the acting department in general. And two, for there to be yearly musicals, because I want like everyone to be able to experience this as many times as possible. If I knew that this was the community that I was going to be with or that I could have been with, I would have joined like right off of my freshman year.
you know, it was, it was a great, great time. I had such a good experience with it. Taking the first step by literally just going to the audition is, it is monumental, seriously. If you prove to them that you have something of worth, you know, in that way, like through acting and singing and dancing, and if you land a super big part like that, you just gotta put in the work, you know? Whatever happens, whatever role you get, just putting 110% into it and like being passionate and caring. I think that we put on a great show, seriously. <laughs> I think that I found like seriously probably my passion and I think that I, I wanna try to pursue this in my future. So yeah, just a great experience. Thank you, thank you to everyone that supported Thank you, and supported in every single way by watching or just helping, yeah, just thank you. <laughs>